something that God wants to fill us with. <clears throat> so I started getting excited about what God was going to do in here today. And it's so funny because every time somebody said something this morning in the prayer, it was a part of the message. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, God, you, yeah. you know, you really Confirming. want yeah. mm -hmm. you know, me to, to say these things. Um, I didn't know who was going to be here. I didn't know the format or what the agenda was going to be, but I knew that God had something in store for us today. Amen. Um, so I got excited, you know, because it's always good to see other people getting mm -hmm. blessed, you know, besides yourself. Mm -hmm. I rejoice, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. just seeing every, like, mother, I rejoice, you know. You was, I think that was you on the floor, right? I don't have my glasses on, mm -hmm. but, you know. I was doing something for you, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what, but, you know, I was just excited mm -hmm. for what he was doing mm -hmm. um, at that particular time. So God wants us to be whole. His desire is to make us complete, mm -hmm. as you said, Pastor Lane says so many times. Um, he wants us to be whole. He wants to supply us with what is lacking in our lives. He wants to fill us and make us brand new over and over and over again because we get bogged down truth be told yes. with the cares of life mm. the hustle and the bustle running here running there running everywhere and we seldom take time out and allow the lord to fill us or replenish us with that brand new fire or refreshing that we need mm -hmm. now if anybody knows me and Sharon Collette and Merlin and Fran and Pat, y'all, y'all, I'm going to say some emergency prayer if y'all make a face. <laughs> but if anybody knows me, I am probably guiltier more than anyone in this room. And that's why I started getting excited because I know I'm doing a whole lot of things. And I'm caught up in the hustle and the bustle and running here, there, and everywhere. So, I thank God for um, being here for this message today. So, I'm asking God to even fill me with the extra stuff that I need to advance in the kingdom. And again, you know, it's a personal thing. I can't go for you. You can't go for me. You know what your need is, and God knows exactly how He wants to fill you. So, sometimes we need to be still. And sit at the feet of Jesus for a minute just to get new instructions, further directions, wise counsel. Because in our hastiness, sometimes we get way ahead of God. Yes. And before we know it, we're somewhere and in some ministry where we're not supposed to be. Mm. And I thought about um, a couple years ago when um, Reverend Smalls was living, so not just a couple years, but it's a while ago. Um, he used to go and preach at this church every second Sunday and uh, um, one of the associate ministers, his wife had a women's ministry and she just invited me to get involved. We could use you, we need you. Da, da, da. So I went. You know, I didn't even ask God. I didn't pray about it. Um, I just went out there on my own and it turned out to be a disaster mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. because I had no experience. Mm -hmm. I didn't, it, it was just a disaster. So sometimes we end up where we shouldn't even be. So we need to take time out to get some new instructions and whatnot um, from God. So in this verse, Paul says, and y'all know me, I'm not long, but I'm gonna say these three little things and mm -hmm. we'll be done. But in order for God to fill you, you need to prepare your heart. Mm. You need to totally surrender. Ask God to forgive you for any unconfessed sin. Because we want to be filled and we want to come to God any old kind of way. Mm. So God wants us to prepare our heart. You know, and my example is I wouldn't take my husband and his construction clothes to a wedding. You know, that's not the way you go to a wedding. Mm -hmm. So we need to be prepared when we come to God and not just any old kind mm -hmm. of way. Uh, when we come with the wrong attitude and disposition, 
we have the nerve to tell God, mm. you mm. fix me, you mm. get me ready, and then I guess I'll be ready. Mm. You know, but God wants a pure vessel, mm. right. one that is sincere, one that is honest, one that is trustworthy, and um, one that will anticipate a great move from him. Now I work in a medical facility and every year, and some of you might already know this, that the Department of Health comes and they do an inspection. They want to make sure that you're following the guidelines, the rules, the regulations according to what, you know, Harrisburg says. So everything that doesn't meet the standard, they give you 30 days to fix it. Mm -hmm. So they come back in 30 days and if it's not corrected, one fine is $10,000. Mm -hmm. So you, you really work within these 30 days to try to fix, to right. mm -hmm. uh, yeah, to get it right before they um, come back. So today, we need to start preparing our heart right now, you know, for what's going to happen um, and do an unannounced inspection. Wow. of our heart mm -hmm. and everything that doesn't meet God's standard start confessing it yes. Amen. right now Amen. 